Hello and welcome back to the final round of the 2019 Sula Open presented by Discmania. This is a Spin TV coverage filmed by SM Production. Doing commentary for you today, we have myself, Eivind Jones, and the tournament director, Justin Hola. Thank you. On today's lead card, we have uh, Knut Holland, local from Sula, and myself, also local, and Johanne Vainio from Finland, and also Espen Mökeljärd from Norway, Oslo. Uh, here we have hole one, uh, tricky starting hole, the hardest part three, 132 meters, uh, out of bounds both right and left. So the common option on this hole is uh, roller, or some side arms, we see some side arms, but most likely a roller for all these top players. Only 10 birdies on this whole, uh, the whole tournament, actually. Yeah, so it's a really st uh, tough starting hole, and uh, most likely all players will be happy with a par on this hole. So, Knut Tolan is up to start, and Knut is your son, actually, Jostein. Yes, he is. So this is going to be, I'm going to follow him uh, very carefully now, see what mistakes, mistakes he does. It's also Justin who is announcing the players there. So. Yeah. We see Espen won the European Championship back in 2003. So he has been in the game for a long time. I don't know how many times Espen has won the Sula Open, but it's uh, four or five? Five, 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 five times, times yeah. actually, yeah. So Knut is going roller here with the Roadrunner, I guess, champion Roadrunner. That looks good. A little bit heavy on the cut angle, but that's an easy par for Knut. Yeah, should be fine there. Next player up, also from Sula. Langoga. Next up is you, Ivan. What are, you, are your thoughts on this hole? My thought is just get it inbounds, get a par, move on. Uh, I also go roller, so I do occasionally see the uh, a birdie here, but I'm very happy with the par. So. That looks good uh, as well. Yeah. In fact, that's my worst roller of the three rounds, <laughs> but uh, still very good. I mm. parked it uh, two Third previous rounds. Next up is Yuani Vainu, a little dark horse uh, in the Sula Open field. Yeah, he played lead card uh, last year as well. So uh, Actually on the final round. Yeah. yeah. And he also goes roller with some MVP plastic. Yeah, he did, uh, I think he went air shot last year, so maybe have a look at some footage from last year. Yeah, should be fine there as well. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, he would have uh, 13, 14 meters for his buddy. Mm. And the last player, the legend himself. Now it's Espen Mertlian. Espen Frisbee he, he won the first year tour back in 2010. Yeah, first time we had the Euro Tour on Sula. Mm. Looks like he, he's lining up a roller as well. Yeah, that's uh, also a road runner from Espan. Oh, that's right. Uh, should be fine, but... Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. That's very unlucky. You actually accidentally rolled out of bounds by... You can see that this is about 40 centimeters. And a routine approach. Yeah. That's a bo bogey. Bogey for Espen. Not the way you want to start, but not that bad either. It goes with the jump putt. Yeah, he was looked like he was running that putt. Yeah, you can run it from pretty much 50 meters with a jump putt. <laughs> oh, it's our man, Yuani. Too low, but still a par. Mm -hmm. and now it's you, Ivan, from 15, 16 uh, meters. 12, maybe. Well, and yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, that's a it's great a good start. to start your round. It was a little bit chucked up on the fence, but uh, managed to sneak it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a par for Knut. 
Same for Ioanni, while Espen takes a bogey in this hole. Yeah, very unfortunate roll. It's, but it's not the first time I've seen that roll, but it's not normal. This is. That was a good hit. Yeah, you actually got yeah. caught up in the chains. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so here we have hole 2, 84 meters, tunnel shots, out of bounds, mm. over the fence on the right side can come into play, but uh, this is pretty much throw whatever you're most comfortable throwing 80 meters straight and then maybe slide it up, and land, land a little bit short and slide it up. Mm. And the wall we see in the middle of the hole is actually named after me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's called the hole on wall. By some reason. Ah, uh, stopped on a root yeah. of some sort. Still a good shot. Oh, yes, can you just throw in a rock or? Yeah, ranch a rock. Yeah. Star ranch a rock. Uh -oh. Yeah, he hits his own father's wall. <laughs> Hit it hard and try yeah. to chop it down. Mm. Still should have a good chance to save par. Yeah, there are. It's tricky, but it's definitely doable. Johan is still st standing still. Heising off a little bit, but he will have a putt from there. Yeah. Around 15 meters. And Espen, what's he he's drawing? Looks like a. I would say uh, Guru Thor, I guess. Yeah. guess. Maybe sea line or. Yeah. That Beauty. looks good. Yeah. Very well by Aspen. Now we screw it a little bit tricky, maybe. Oh, that's too low. Yeah, that's bad. Running the putt, and he's definitely running that putt, <laughs> and a good run as well. Mm. You will uh, probably pick up another stroke here, uh, Evan. Yeah, probably. I, will, I still have. S I looked at the birdie, so mm. but uh, my body didn't want to <laughs> run it. Mm. The green can be mm. difficult if you go too long. Johnny taps out for his par. Uh, yeah, that's good. Has been catch the lone birdie on hole two. I have a short clean up. Knut as well. Gonna tap in his bogey four. So Knut has have a, I would say a rough start, but not the start he wanted. But, uh, uh. only has been in the game a couple of years as well. I guess uh, I think he's a master player uh, next season. Yeah, so here we have a hole three, 126 meters uh, out of a tunnel at the beginning. So most likely we see Heiser flips either. Fairway driver or distance driver, uh, you do not want to leak uh, to the left and find yourself in the hazard. And also, if you go too far right, you will have some uh, uh, tricky trees to contend with. So, leave it underneath the basket or short, it's pretty the preferred mm -hmm. method. Have a slight, slight, slight headwind on this hole today. That looks good from Espan. Yeah. It can fight back. Yeah. yeah a little bit, a yeah. little bit short, but it's okay. 
And what's your play here, uh, Eivind? Uh, I go with a VIP Fortress, Heiser Flip, uh, try to go as straight as possible. Mm -hmm. So no high distance No, driver. it's uh, speed, uh, speed 10. Mm -hmm. so. Turn it over a little bit too much, and from there I will have no putt at all. No, that's just the pitch. Yeah. And then you are It's plenty high enough, fading off a little bit, but... Ooh. Did he hit the cameraman or...? I think there was a spectator, but... Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, but didn't remember that seeing that. That was funny. So I to go in destroyer. Vingre mm -hmm. Turned it over a little bit, so no. very much, and he will be out in the long grass, actually. Yeah. You should be able to save par. Yeah, you see how low mm. Knut had to go to go underneath the branches there. Mm. But Espen, he has an open putt. Yeah. Oh, almost. Almost too low. And let's see, you only after hitting a spectator or something. Yeah. But first I don't up is you. hitting it, so. It looked like. Yeah. Yeah, you have nothing. <laughs> Definitely nothing. Nothing at all. But you only hear something. Yeah, he has some trees to navigate, but he can manage. Oh, oh. off the rim. Oh. Mm. I actually had a putting contest with you only the uh, day before the final round. <laughs> with his putters. Oh, and, with uh, his putters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I took him down. And he said, told me he couldn't putt. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Let's see. I've seen him sneak in a mm. couple of long putts. So. Yeah, three pars. Yeah, four pars. Four pars. It's not uncommon on this hole. But uh, you see a lot of pars on this hole. But, uh, Hello, uh, this is hole 4, our infamous hole 4, uh, changed from last year, but uh, still very difficult. Uh, the fairway is inbounds on the running path, on running pitch here, and then we have a half island green. Uh, you have the option of going straight across, then it's 136 meters over to the safe green. Uh, and also we have a hazard behind. So this green can be really difficult at some times. Let's see. Has been going. Oh, oh here goes the high sir. Oh. Should be plenty safe. Had to fall down. Yeah, that's a good shot. And you will have a good stand there as well. Yeah. I guess we're gonna see some couple of rollers. I go. Yeah. Trespass. That's the same trespass as I one. So I will be tucked up on the fence there, so I have some tricky stand slants from the fence, but I'm used to it, so no problem. Yeah, up in the air for Yuani as well. Looks very good. Yes. Yeah, good shot. It actually started raining just for this hole. That was the only rain we had for the round, pretty much only on this tee shot. And that's an aggressive roller from Knut. Uh, it's turning. Mm, About your place. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he as well will be tucked on the fence. Mm. Should be a uh, quite easy high serene. 
Yeah, he has probably 80, 70, 80 meters. Mm. Yeah, totally parked. Yeah. yeah. Good shot. No, it's you, Eivind. Yeah, still standing. Triple X. Oh, too Pulsar. wide? No, it's a little bit short. No skip today. And just on the circle's edge or something? Edge, yeah. yeah. No, that's a fire burn. It stands still as well. One step run up. A little bit too flat, maybe get some skip. Yeah, that's parked. No, that's parked. And opting for the putter. Yeah. More of a straighter approach. Yeah, yeah. also parked. Good shooting. You are the only one to have. I'm like the only one who has have a putt. Ah, yeah. oh, it's in again. Yeah, a little bit floppy yeah. this time, but good catch by the basket left side. Mm. You're grateful. As you see, this basket is slightly elevated, so you might see some long return putts if you miss on this one. Mm. Yeah, and while I clean up, we can talk a little about uh, Håkon Kveset's round. That was not filmed. Uh, yeah, he yeah, played... That was insane. <laughs> he shot the course record 14 down, but he was in no position for taking down the title, so... Mm. I think he climbed almost 20 places. Yeah, he actually went for the eagle here on hole 4 and made it into hazard loan mm -hmm. and ended up with a par. <laughs> and here we have hole 5, uh, another straight straight shot. Uh, most likely a favorite driver for most players. Try and land it on this uh, fairway here. And then uh, a putter approach to a very scary green. Mm -hmm. To see on the water level is higher this year, and then you see under this water, uh, on this uh, drone footage. So uh, the water line comes really close to the basket. Mm. We had one eagle here in the tournament. Yeah, that was Håkon on his uh, run run for the for the course record. Let's see, yes, run. Oh, that's yeah, kicked out. Yeah, yeah maybe safe. Yeah, those all of those trees are standing in out of bounds. You do sometimes see the big ionizer over the football field, but I guess most yeah, of that's the a scary shot. Yeah. Throwing same fortress, fortress again. again. Looks very good. That is picture perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's long. Yeah. That's a jump at approach. I was a little bit scared of going out of bounds long, but uh, mm. luckily straight. Would you on it? Yeah, straight ahead as well. Yeah, that's that's pretty much oh. whatever you yeah. want to. Yeah, you can possibly sneak under the mm. fence there, but mm. very unlucky. Now it's Knut, the destroyer actually. Also looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Those trees to contend with. We're gonna go aggressive off the tee and try to go as long as possible. Yes, Aspen has some work to do. Yeah, his optic to go sidearm, but might mm. be scary because if the sidearm driver would mm. easily skip towards the water. Oh, it's oh. Oh. Oh, we will have. Mm. He still has an approach to do to save mm. this far. Oh, it's you, Ani. Like yeah. 45 meters left. Yeah, Something. about 45. Yeah. A little bit low. Yeah, he will have a okay. No. Yeah, a five putt. six meters, but still a slight death putt. Now it's good with a putter. Oh, that's that's hard. Maybe it gets in. Oh <laughs> no! So that's out of bounds in the water. Long. What's this? You're disappointed in your son, or? I'm not sure. Not sure. Yeah, so I spent just as a jump out approach. Yeah. For his par. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, pretty much the same shot. Yeah. But Knut, yes. Uh, he has this for yeah. uh, saving his par. Not going out of bounds. Yeah. yeah, that's a good putt. Yeah. I think Knut is probably 
pretty much the best comeback fighter I know. <laughs> he always, always makes his comeback spots. Yeah, sneak it in again. Yeah. In. No I spent for his part. You have an easy one. Yeah. Easy tactic. Yeah. And now we have a tie after uh, the first five holes. Yeah. I managed to catch, catch Knut and now it's, it's a tie. But mm. still many, many holes to go. Uh, over to the most picturesque hole maybe. It's the infamous uh, Mucky's hole named after Aspen Mukherjad. Uh, big shot of the over the water. If you have the power to go uh, spike heister or big heister at it, you will probably much see, do that. And you will try to get it up on this second shelf to get a much easier putt. If you leave it short of the basket, you will have a tricky uphill putt, uh, usually into a small headwind. Mm. And you are up with an enforcer or something, or uh, stiletto? Stiletto, okay. Plenty high enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, that's everything I can ask mm. for. See if Yuani has the distance. Yeah, it's sort More of like a safe play, looks yeah, like. Yeah, he has the power to go for it, so yeah. a little bit sort of inside. Mm. So it's Espen. Destroyer. He still has the Norwegian uh, distance record, I think. But I'm not quite sure. But I'm not the distance I record. But uh, he doesn't. No. Okay. No, but uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Espen Turen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Just made it in bounds, yeah. and we'll have a 12, 13 meter putt. Mm -hmm. Lining up with that. PD2 or destroyer, I think. Uh, I think that's a destroyer. Mm. More of a direct line from Knut. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit short, but he will make his spots mm. most likely. No, it's from you only from. That's far, 20 mm. meters. Mm -hmm. The man who can't putt. Ooh! <laughs> Another <laughs> sneaky one. Yeah. What's he saying to you? I uh, didn't say much, he just high fives. <laughs> yeah. You only <laughs> yeah. made the basket there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he put it so hard that the bag <coughs> was tipping over on almost. Mm. Now it's SP first. Yeah. From Eight meters, eight nine. Uh, circle surge, I will guess. Oh, the other one was Jack. As Espen says himself, that, that was not a good attempt. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Knut made his spot. Uh, Easy one for you. Uh, yeah. And cleans up. And you see the replay of Johannes magic putt. Yeah, that was supposed to go in. Just like an evolution, the game is always changing. Change happens on even the smallest of levels, all the way down to the DNA. Dismania's DNA has always held the drive to change the game. Now, this DNA has transferred to advanced disc golf manufacturing technology. Change is happening. It's time to evolve. 
In collaboration with Latitude 64, we want to offer you exciting, modern, and revolutionary products. Products that will reinvent your game. Introducing Evolution by Discmania. So, want to hold seven. This is a shorter par four, uh, reachable, but uh, it's really hard to get the accuracy to attempt an eagle. We have a mandatory three here. You need to go left of that. Then you have two options, either to throw a short hyzer or the aggressive hyzer flip and then maybe attempt an eagle. This green can be really hard to access and it also has a pretty steep drop off on the right side. So mm. you want to place this close to have an mm. attempt at the birdie. It's not the distance but the basket placement that makes these holes apart yeah. for. You again, high yeah, flip. I go with the aggressive uh, play, but I go with the Ooh. fairway driver. <laughs> That's long. Now Very long. We yeah. Are. Job is almost done. Yeah, it's just uh, a jump at approach. Mm. You only play the more normal way yeah. with a high The traditional. Yeah. Traditional high serve play. Yeah. And that's the new line about there. That's a forehand. Or and or yeah. maybe even a spike ice or a grenade or mm. sort. It's going a little bit higher. That is picture perfect. Yeah, that's a good one. That's pretty much as good as it can get from that ice line. Mm. So Espen is throwing a roadrunner, so I guess he tries to mimic my line. Oh, now feel it. Mm. As Espen is saying, that's too early. And he hits the mm. mandatory tree and kicks back. Or did he miss? Yeah, he missed the mandatory. Yeah. That's not good. So he has 80 meters, 80, 90 meters from the drop zone. I just take it up the middle way. Yeah, that's too high. So he would have sort of a tricky mm. jump butt approach. You're only going forehand. It's normal play from there. Yeah, and he gets it uh, wide enough. Yeah. It's and, uh, six meters death mm. butt. He's just going. He's going grenade, actually. He's learned uh, that shot uh, of you. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. But he ended up rolling down the hill, so he will have a long mm. birdie putt. That's an old school uh, shot. Oh, that's been rolled away. He hit some of the undulation on the green there and rolled. Mm. Yeah, so I saw Aspen's shot, I was afraid of the roll, so I left my approach pretty short and now I actually have a slight test for my birdie. Mm. Aspen. Uh, apart from down there, it can be really tricky. It's very uh, much more uphill than it looks on video. Um, air ball. That's been, been putting for six. Yeah, that will be six. Yeah. yeah. That's been losing some strokes now. Yeah, I will say it's pretty much out of the running now. It's three horse race. Is it hurt, Ella? Yep, you birdie for you. Yep. I birdied this whole, uh, all three rounds. I know you're in the lead for the first time. Yeah, I take it, take the lead by one stroke. Mm. But, uh, it's still many, many, many holes to go. And let's see what happens with Espen. Yeah, there you can see it's skipped back up. Yeah. Hole 8, 86 meters, play is more like 100. Uh, it's very uphill, uh, bundle shots, uh, slight break to the right, so uh, either forehand or uh, high flip. 
you can pretty much ace around this basket here. You have a pretty good backstop, so uh, you can run it and be safe that you won't be far away. And this is a little touchy shot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with the striker here. Uh, that's I actually hit the mandatory three, <laughs> and that is not good. <laughs> Ended up a little bit on the left side, this, which is not the side you want to be on. Johanny, oh, sneak it. Yeah. Too much, too low and, and too left. Yeah, but he's in the fairway. Mm. It's Knut with an Echo Star, T Bird, I think. That's good. Uh, a little bit right, but. Oh. Good skip. Good shot and good skip, I will say. Mm. Aspen win. Yeah, high and sweep shot as well. Yeah, it's the one of the last three on the right side, but he will be able to save. Now is your easy approach. Well, it should be. What's that? That's a tree kick. That's a tree kick. <laughs> That's a horrible approach. <laughs> Pitch it up. Mm. Oh, as you see, Aspen was trying to throw that in. Mm. Uh, With a Mjölner yeah. from his own lineup, Guru Liskov. I'm going a little bit more conservative. I'm just gonna uh, jump out at it and uh, leave it short of the log there. Mm -hmm. You accepted your bogey there, or? Yeah, uh, I have not the uh, power to go for the save the power with the putt, and my uh, last mm -hmm. throw approach wasn't that great, so I went for the safe bogey. Mm. So now it's Knuts is back in the lead, gaining two strokes on that hole. Mm. Yeah, easy. And now we're entering the really tough part of the course. Yeah, next five holes. Next six, six, six holes. holes. Yeah. It's a uh, really, really hard part of this course. Mm. So hole nine, uh, fish hook. Uh, have out of bounds on the left side the entire way. Wraps around uh, the back side of the basket. Uh, you need to go around this uh, cluster of trees to a fairly difficult green it slopes off on the back side uh, on the second shot here we will have uh, many options either back and ionizer or forehand or even go through the woods but the first shot is just placement pretty much get it as close to the out of bounds lines as you dare and then have a tricky approach t-bird shot or Knut? I think he's going Thunderbird. Thunderbird, okay. It's a little bit low, but uh, he will have... There may be enough angle to... Yeah, it's to left, a... so he yeah. will have a great angle. Johanny, that's oh, looks plenty high enough. A little bit that's... scary. Ah, that's out of bounds. But he got up. Uh... Yeah. You can save far from uh, going. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's got through. Yeah. And he's, Espen is also is short, but he's wide, so we have have a play from there. Yeah, he will have some. And you going fortress again? Same fortress. Mm. A little bit right, but. Oh, that looks <laughs> very long. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that has the height to go really far. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the best shots I've seen. Not yeah, it's pretty much. I think I have never gone mm. that far with a with a fairway driver. Mm. Aspen is trying for the aggressive. Ah, oh, looks scary. That's too much angle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It then it would roll out mm. of bounds. Let's see if it can correct. It's yeah. high enough. Yeah. And catches some trees and falls down. Yeah. Still a good shot. Yeah, we'll guess circle's edge, but 
Johanna going forehand, high forehand. That should be parked. 